show on the show tonight, Essendon legend Terry Danaher, North Melbourne big man Todd Goldstein, and Warren H. Williams with Burns Live. Gilly, welcome to you. And on the panel, Rock and Ronnie Burns, Alan Thorpe, and Matty Campbell. I've got some footage here of this guy here. Talking about this substitute rule, this interchange. Here we go. Have a look at this, Matty. Look, this is a game. First quarter. There's Gilbert. <laughs> look at him. He's actually having a soup. Barry didn't even want to talk to him. <laughs> how, how would you go on this, uh, this substitute rule, mate? Well, I'll tell you what. That's 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 rare footage. That so. <laughs> no, no, that's rare. Listen, that's, there, the that's first rare quarter. footage. Don't don't lose that because. And you tried to have I a conversation. You tried much. to have a conversation, Barry. He didn't even want to know you. But anyway, let's, we'll find out how you go well, through the whole game. There was a game of footy on the footy flashbacks last weekend. Last Sunday, oh, and oh, is it coming, I got buddy? a text message and said, Are you watching footy flashbacks? Have a look at this. First to the ball, <laughs> undisciplined, Ronnie. I should have got a free, I should have got a free for in the back. <laughs> that's that's called no, that's called no, taking a dive. No, that, no, it's, it's the bloke going for the ball. You waited behind, you took a dive, <laughs> you waited behind because you were frightened to go for the ball first. Well, that, <laughs> that actually, you took a dive, that's called a dive. So that, that actually was you a cheat. very good game, and I watched it, Gilbert, and the game was a draw and he missed the goal from about 10 metres out. I did. No. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> no, I, won't, I won't say any more. <laughs> Actually, and I had three opponents, and he was the easy one I played on that day. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for Adelaide because John Cock, I think he'll rise for the occasion. <laughs> you know, White Cross and these smaller guys, but you still need them tall timbers down there, Ronnie? Don't ask me, I just got bagged, and I don't go for the hardball gets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Toddy, um, with the hate chat, you obviously have uh, taken over the number one rock spot. Was there anything at training? You sabotaged his injury or something? Or... <laughs> no, definitely not. I think he was having those problems just before Utah, so I was, I was away from the club at that point. So, no, don't, don't blame me for that, Matty. <laughs> Toddy, just uh, your lovely partners had a, a little one eight months ago. Is that uh, made you play good football, fatherhood? Does that really balance you out? Yeah, I think it's definitely helped. I think you've got to mature a lot. Having, having, a, having a little baby and I think, guess having Olivia has really made a big difference. It's made me you know, have something, a distraction off the field which you know, I don't, don't normally have and you know, it puts everything in, into perspective for me. So yeah, it's definitely helped a lot. Todd, now Matty, he's a teammate, you play together. You got any dirt on him, brother? Because he always <laughs> acts like he's Mr Nice Guy. There must be something about no, him that we should know about. No, Matt, Matty would probably have to be close to the biggest pest that we've got at the club. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a bit of small man syndrome. He, he runs around annoying everyone and <laughs> missing out here. So. Hey, have you got a reply to that? <laughs> no, I was just going to say, Toddy's out. Uh, the rise over the, you know, the five years, we got drafted in the same year. And just to see the, um, the rise that he's had in the footy club, you know, you see him every day. So the hard work that he's done behind the scenes is... It's paid off. Is that soft, man? What are you trying to be so serious? <laughs> no, that's all we are. What are you trying to be so serious? You're loyal. You're loyal. You're loyal. You're loyal. Good boy. Right. 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 Just just come back to that. I don't bag teammates, Ronnie. <laughs> you had to go with you in the green room. <laughs> yeah, that's beyond. Okay. Yeah, look, great to see Brad Sewell back in there too. The Norse with medalists and. Lewis, great to see Cyril Sot back also with that two year contract and Lysel, but suckling. He's suckling, something's wrong with his back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's talk about young Whitecross because I think it's been a real important player. <laughs> Can I just well, show the other one then? Brad okay. Searle. Searle, has he won a Norm Smith too, has he? Oh, well, no, he hasn't. No. Well, well, that's Let what me get said. on with the show, will you? Okay, Coming back to this game, we've kept the tape roll and Gilly. This is still a 1992 qualifying final against uh, Collingwood. <laughs> it's a second quarter. Gee, I look handsome. You still, you still haven't got off the bench. Gee, I'm still, handsome there. And you're still soaking. Good looking bloke. You still haven't got on. You haven't still got on yet. What's going on? Ronnie, I'll okay. show you the full we'll tape okay. when we get right. time we'll right later on. <laughs> Terry, you spoke about playing in the country town, talking about playing rugby and Aussie rules football. Did you have ambitions as a young kid? Did you have a dream to play VFL football as it was at the time? Well, look, uh, yeah. prime time was rugby league. You know, I remember when we were kids, mum would get Neil and myself, the other boys were a bit younger. 
out of bed and uh, to get up and watch what they call the winners on yep. ABC and uh, um, if we weren't too tired, we'd get out about 11 or 12 o'clock at night and she'd pull it in because we, we loved our footy and uh, we'd watch the league early and then sort of she'd wake us up, get us out of bed and get in front and watch the... You just couldn't... You're in awe of it. You couldn't believe it. You know, the crowds, the... You know, the big banners, you know, the supporters waving those things, and you'd say, wow, wouldn't it be great one day to get down there and be part of that? Well, Layla, one of the rules in today's game that the fans are passionate about is the deliberate out-of-bounds rule. Yeah, that's right, and it's almost always the umpire's <laughs> fault if it's paid against your team. Well, I actually think the umpires have a pretty bad rap on that one, so I've invited senior AFL umpire Hayden Kennedy along, and he's going to explain the rule to us. Oh, awesome, but where is he, Shelley West? He's supposed to meet us here. Hey, you! Get back on the bike track. You're out of bounds. Whatever, Kennedy. Number one is force. How hard does he hit the... Can you sit up a bit, please? He's not paying any attention. How hard does he hit the ball out? Does he oh, hit? I know, Hayden, but thank you so much for clearing it up for us anyway. Thanks yeah. very much for having Great me work. here. Hey, Great. whatever, Kennedy. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Oh, <laughs> and look at that, Shelley. Oh, hello. Top two. <laughs> the ladies are top two. <laughs> Very well. On, take yourself, take boys. notes, boys. Just quickly, we've still got the footage. We're still rolling that game. <laughs> Just have a look. Third quarter. Oh, now there's new quarter. <laughs> still haven't got on, Chan. What's going on? <laughs> you want to support? That's getting stale, pretty no, much. <laughs> Bingo. It's a bit like yourself. You're getting oh, stale. Come on. Hey, hey. Stay on Ronnie. You're still good looking bloke, Kelly, aren't you, brother? Oh, Russ, look you ahead some more. Hey, since you've been back from that, mate, you can't shut up. <laughs> <laughs>